Hi, I'm Noble Sin. You may have seen me around the community if you uh, want to keep up with the Primal Carnage PlayStation 4 news, or just want to see some gameplay videos in general of Primal Carnage, but anyways, this is uh, basically, I'm going to give a quick recap. Uh, this <laughs> this video right here is the one you should definitely watch before this one. It, it provides all of the information that you need to know about the upcoming update, and this is basically just a recap slash kind of update on where the uh, the game is going next in terms of you know, how it's doing and how close it is toward us. But I definitely do think you need to watch this video first before anything in this video. Please do it. It's only 15 minutes, but uh, you won't regret it. It has every single bit of information that you'd need to know about the update. Anyways, I've been gone a long time. I know. I still have an April Fool's video I'm going to uh, upload. Uh, Song Engine, and I will upload more gameplay and all of that. And everything's been going on. There's a lot, a lot, everything, everything, life happens. But either way, that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll get into the video now. Sorry I haven't been uploading, and I'm sorry this video took so long to make, I just don't know what kind of information I need to cram into this one when you could already watch this one, so I'm gonna talk about the, all of the new stuff in this one. Basically, I'll give you a quick recap of this video, uh, if you just went to watch it or anything, please do. Basically, the, uh, the game's estimated release date was supposed to be around June 10th or June 11th when Jurassic World Dominion finally came out, just to kind of ride that dinosaur hype train and, oh, uh, you know. Now I'm kind of thinking it's going to be like early-ish July, maybe like mid-July, hopefully, because like in the later June, there should probably be the beta coming out like pretty soon, just around the corner. I'll, I'll talk more about the beta later. I also went over uh, talking about the maps that are going to be missing. There are a couple that are going to be missing. I think Seasons might be getting removed, and I think Phantom Cave won't be there, which really sucks. And we know that Ceratosaurus and Pachycephalosaurus will finally be arriving on PS4. Oh boy, this is going to be fun, along with every single other weapon. Basically, the game is going to be very up-to-date with PC. We're going to get um, a lo all of the skins we're going to get, well... I think all of the skins anyway. We're gonna get a lot of remakes for the old Panic Button skins made by Boken, so thank you for that, Boken. And you did a great job, by the way. And there are going to be tons of new drops. They're, I mean, the drop system is pretty much completely different. They added the new Paint Bucket system, which is gonna be really cool, and that's finally gonna be added, and oh boy, our PS4 player's gonna like that one. And then Dinosauriac gave me this message right here that I, um, I asked him if he would like to say anything specifically to you guys, so you can read that out yourself. Remember, that was from the last video, so I don't know how much of that is still relevant to this point, but basically, it's like that. Now, why haven't we gotten this update yet? Well, it's been in the works for a long while now. They just wanted to kind of polish off and finalize the PC version for the past year or so. Uh, to finally bring over the experience to PS4, but beforehand, it was kind of owned by Panic Button who weren't really, you know, too active on the game at all in the past three, four years. At the time of, you know, the new, the, the, the PC, the studio that runs PC, which is Circle 5, who uh, just recently got some dev kits so they can actually start working on the PlayStation 4 version. So there was a lot of hurdles with the Sony and communications and COVID did not help. So it, it took a hell of a long time, but it's coming this year. They have been up to a lot on the PC version, including a new secondary ability to Tupa. This is me in the trailer, by the way. And it is basically just a dive bomb to, I don't know, absolutely wreck a whole bunch of humans. There is a ton of balance changes also in this update. And like a whole bunch, like just a bunch of new mechanics. There's this new lighting for Dilo and Cryo Spits and Terra has a new grab and it looks really epic. This is me, by the way. And uh, one of my recommendations actually got added where you can be put out of fire going through a waterfall. This is me, by the way. And I just thought that was really cool. Oh, Spino also got a new bite that isn't really shown too well in the trailer, but uh, here's a little clip of it. This is me. They did also increase the blind times for spitters a little more and well, there's a whole bunch of different changes. This is basically a huge, massive update that Primal Carnage really needed. The The size of the game has gone down to like nine gigabytes, which previously was like 31 or something like that. So, well, maybe not 31, but around the 30s, I think. So uh, yeah, the game went down in size. And the game is on a lot of maps have been well optimized. The, the characters have a lot of new shaders and it looks really, really good. So all of this will be coming to PS4, but 
there is going to be a beta for the PlayStation 4 coming sometime in June. But either way, I will be a part of that testing and I will be, you know, there uh, helping out and try out all the new things that are coming over to PS4. Currently, I believe they're doing a very close dev testing just to check if the game works at all or if they can run multiplayer servers even. Then after that, it's going to be a little bit of a wider closed testing with, I believe, about 15 people. I actually don't know the amount, just somewhere around 15, I think, for about two weeks. And then, like, I think another two weeks or one week after that, we're gonna have it open to, I believe, about 500 players with a, uh, with a survey that's gonna go up basically asking like have you do you have an experience playing this game or are you in the discord can you use voice chat and basically you know if you're worthy enough to be a beta tester you will be allowed in i don't know when that is but i just know there are 500 tickets so uh you may get your chance to try out this update early and test for it but we're gonna we're gonna need some pretty reliable testers this thing is probably gonna be fairly broken but another thing that dinosauriac wanted me to mention was the fact that um last video uh, again, this one. I was talking about I didn't know how the in-game store was gonna work. I didn't know if there was gonna be a currency. I didn't know if there was going to be like a certain system in place to buy a skin, like a ticket, like a like a medium skin ticket or a, I don't know. But uh, basically, they got the in-game store working pretty much exactly like PC and rotations will be a thing. So we will get store rotations regularly, uh, at least I hope around regularly like PC does, and we will get a whole bunch of skins and mutations, and I'm sure for the very first week of the update being out, we're gonna get a lot of Dominion themed ones, so uh, don't worry, you'll get your Acrocanthosaurus Giga real quick. Now with the store being uh, basically solved. I also talked about events in the previous video. I didn't know if any events were going to come to PlayStation 4. I know there are going to be updates past this one initial one, just catching it up to speed. Of course, they're not just going to abandon the game after one big update. There's going to be continued updates. They're going to continue to support the game, basically. But I'm pretty sure I heard Dinosauriac say somewhere that PS4 could possibly be included in the Halloween event. So that's going to be really really fun to be a part of if they end up doing that and i'm just so excited for playstation 4 to get events like that the meltdown events would be so fun those happen like every summer there's usually two phases i think uh usually an easter egg hunt but they didn't have time to do that this year with all the playstation 4 and everything new that they were adding so that's gonna be a little a little odd to cram in there but basically that is mostly it for uh what's been happening they've been working a ton ton on optimizations and just overall gameplay changes that just make the game feel a little more complete. If I were to have a recommendation though, I would try to add a very slight, a very slight head tracking on Pteranodon because it still feels slightly incomplete without that. But either way, the classes feel very complete, the game just feels very good and, you know, ready to actually be a properly made PS4 title. So that's pretty much it. Again, please watch this video here to basically know everything that's going to come with this update. So there you go. There's the basic recap. The update's coming probably late June. And uh, well, I'm a, uh, this is, this is, this is Noble Sin. And uh, well, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.